In this video we look at a 40 Siemens multi-case circuit breaker that we found during commissioning. You just know it's going to be one of those days when you need to get a supply on to a new piece of equipment but there's a problem. As we've done many times before, the first job with the three phase power supply off is to set up the protection settings within the ETU 550 unit. As normal we connect up the external power supply so we can input the settings. On switching it on, we found we had an error message. The error being all the LED lights were flashing and there was a reading on the display saying it's a trip current instantaneous of 9276 amps. This is a problem we had not seen before. So we did all the normal things. We pressed all the buttons randomly to see if there was any way of resetting it. And no matter what button we tried, the system appeared to be locked out. We wondered if it was possible to close the switch with the trip signal activated. As you can see, it only moved round to the trip position. Undeterred, we decided to try and trick the system by switching off the external power supply and putting it into the on position. Expecting it would trip when we switch the external supply on before we give it a try anyway. Yep, as suspected. So we've got a 40 unit and we haven't got any spare parts as all this equipment came from Siemens in Portugal. So is there anything we can do with this module? Well firstly we have to remove it. With this system we have the ability to rack out the moldy case circuit breaker. This is showing the position that it's in close at the moment and to remove it we have to move that tab over to open and we can lift the circuit breaker out. So let's secure the panel and take this back to the office to see if we can investigate what the problem is. Firstly, we move it around to the reset position and switch it on. And we're just gonna prove that this is the same unit connecting the power supply to it and instantly it trips exactly the same message we got before okay let's have a look at this unit the protection unit the ETU 550 let's remove it and if we can see anything obvious with it it's just two bolts at the front of the panel hold it into position and as soon as we opened it up, one of the cables flicked out of the connector. Wondering what this cable did, it seemed to be a twisted pair and there seemed to be three of these pairs, which made us wonder whether it was one of the CT connections. Checking the data sheet, we found out that it was actually one of the CT connections. Okay, well that seems to be the unobvious cause of the problem. So we tried to insert it back into the connector and as you see it didn't lock into position. The little barb on the back was not extended, and would not hold it into position. This was a little fiddly job to try and <laughs> pull the barb back out again. But after a while we managed to succeed, push it back into position. Okay, hopefully a nice easy problem sorted. So let's reconnect the unit and give it a test. Having firmly secured the protection unit, reconnect the power supply, switch the brake to the on position, and the message, the error message, had gone. Just check that we can toggle through all the settings. Doesn't seem to be any problem there. Finally, we'll conduct a trip test. Excellent. Right, ready to reinstall it back into the panel again. 
remembering to rack it in in stages. One important point to note when you're racking these breakers in and out, you have to remove the racking handle between the various positions, otherwise you can damage the carriage. Right, one final test, just to make sure it trips properly. Job done, we can now program it up.